Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors, it's Jared White, the J-Man 63. It is Tuesday, July 8th, and uh, this is going to be a review of uh, two Corvettes. First thing I want to mention is, uh, sorry I didn't get back to you guys sooner, I was kind of on vacation in North Carolina, so I had a pretty good time. I uh, went with my dad, so I had a really good time on vacation, but for right now I'm just going to get to the uh, review. First car I want to uh, show you guys is an auto art car. It's not a Maisto. Um, it's a Callaway C12 Vet. Um, it's a very nice car. Um, Got to say it's probably um, one of the nicer cars I have in my collection. I'm going to start with the uh, exterior here. And uh, first thing you'll notice is the paint is a very nice yellow. It's just a uh, very crisp shade. Um, very good looking vehicle. Front headlights, they're pretty nice. There's uh, really no peg in them, which is what I like to see on um, the really high end cars, the uh, well known makers that make a lot of um, nice die casts, is that there's no peg in these. So, they look pretty good. Um, and if you look closely, you can see that there's a Callaway logo right here. There's the um, logo. This isn't a Cor. It is a Corvette technically, but it is made by Callaway. I'm not sure. I think it's like a C. Um, I think it's a C5, but it's known as the C12. So, just wanted to clear the name up there. That was called the C12, but it's known as the C5. And the grill, it's a pretty decent grill. Um, it's not mesh, but it is pretty well painted. Um, you're not going to notice it if you look at the car close enough. You won't really notice that this isn't a. This is just a. Um, e even though it's not a mesh grill, it still looks nice. And this front bumper is made out of plastic, but you don't. I can't really notice the difference between the shades of yellow, so front bumper looks pretty good. And there's another there's another set of headlights in here, which these are well done too. There's no peg in these either, so these are pretty nice. All right, so wheels are pretty nice too. Um, these are I think these are a set of P0 tires by Pirelli. Um, they say. P0 on here, um, and these uh, brake discs move with the wheel as they should, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, all in all, pretty well done um, wheels, I really like them. Front ones roll pretty good, the rear ones not so much, but they're still um, still pretty nice. And up in here, uh, this is more. This is a sticker to represent the mesh. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of wish they had done like actual mesh on here. Um, just to clear up things, I only paid about um, fifty dollars for this car on eBay. So if you uh, want one of these, they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So if you want one of these cars, I recommend getting one of these. It's a pretty good car for the money. So, yeah, I, even though so, I do wish they had done, um, you know, even so, I wish they had done some uh, mesh right here. But, um, all in all, you can't really tell, even though it's just a sticker. And it's not really going to come off anytime soon. It's still pretty uh, decent. It's not bad. You won't really notice it on the model. But uh, pretty cool. Um, again, there's another um, thing right here with a sticker in it. But all in all, like I said, not too, too bad. So pretty nice. It's really hard to knock this car. You know, it's, it's a pretty decent model. Tail lights are pretty nice. Um, there's really no peg in these either, so they really did that well. Callaway C12 is actual raised lettering and it's actually painted chrome which 
I really like the way that's done. Pretty cool. Exhaust tips, these are actually painted in, which I always like to see that. And then back here, there's a little more mesh going on, or fake mesh, but still looks good. And then there's a reversing light right here. On this side, there's uh, more of that going on, so more uh, detail, but I already showed that side, so. I'm going to get on to the um, engine. So the hood opens pretty well and it stays stays open pretty good when you open it to the full position but when you kind of close it it kind of doesn't want to stay open but it, it stays open okay. Not some auto arts better hinges but still pretty good. So here is the engine all in all pretty well done um, I've seen the real one um, my one thing is I kinda wish Auto Art had put a little more into the engine bay um, they could have probably put a few more labels in some places but other than that it's pretty well represented here alternator is pretty well done so is the um, the bottle here this uh, not bottle but this tank has like an actual top on it um, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly call it maisto detail but it's not too too bad it's a good auto it's good for all it's okay for auto art but not some of their best work I still wish they'd done a bit more but I like it it's still one of the nicer Corvette engines and it, I w I'm not gonna say it's like maisto but it's okay Maybe it's Ertl level, but it's not it's not bad other than that. So I guess I'd say that this engine bay I might give it a eight out of ten. Um it's alright. Exterior I would say I'd give that maybe a nine out of ten, so all in all, not bad. Again, underneath here they actually continue some of their uh detail work. They actually put a separate plastic piece on here to represent the uh, heat shield or whatever you call that so pretty nicely done there all in all maybe some of auto arts uh, le less fine work but it's okay all right so I'm gonna close that uh, one more thing I should mention uh, windshield wipers these are kind of just a molded in plastic piece I kind of wish they'd done separate wipers, but I guess that simplifies things a bit more. But all in all, it's not bad. So, you should really only be paying 50 bucks for this. That's what I think. I mean, this is an okay model. It's not Auto Art's best. Um, I'm going to do the in ex interior. Sorry. <laughs> and these doors, I like how they're made they're pretty heavy duty the way they're done um, my one my one little quip is this dog leg it's not bad but other than that it, it's it's not what I would call um, auto arts best work it's okay to have a dog leg on some doors but the one good thing about it is you know when you have it closed you're not it, it pretty much fills out the interior of this uh, this door panel pretty much fills the interior so when you have the door closed you're not going to say oh well there's a dog leg hinge in there you're not going to be able to see it so it closes up pretty good and you can't really see anything but when you do have it open it's obvious there's a dog leg hinge there it's not too too bad it's not noticeable the way they did it they put it where it's hidden there so it's not bad so all in all pretty well made um, on the door hand on the door um, insert though they did a lot of things here they painted the window buttons and they look pretty good so they actually bothered to paint those which I do like to see and there's like a little holder there's like a little door bar here that's painted yellow 
and so all of it's pretty much there. Interior is actually flock carpeting, which that's pretty nice. Not many cars I have in my collection that actually have a flocked interior. This is one of the few that have it, so it's pretty nice. And pretty nice, nice to see the steering wheel does work the wheels, as you can see. Um, they actually bothered to cover all the steering wheel. They didn't just put the rod there and leave it uncovered. The bottom of the dash actually covers the steering rod, which I do like to see. So that way it looks more real. Um, very nice yellow painted seats. They're pretty well done. And there's some cup holders in there that's painted yellow. And then if you look real close, um, go to the other side here see these doors close really really well which I like to see that on a model the doors aren't going to be popping open anytime soon on you so they're pretty nice and they actually did bother to paint the center stack there as you can see they got all the buttons filled in which is pretty cool so like to see that they did all that and some of the uh, this I didn't know this but I didn't notice this but the center console actually has a carbon fiber print on there so that's pretty cool and the seat belt um, things are painted in and they actually have separate seat belts right here so that's pretty cool um, but all in all very nicely done and uh, I'm going to highlight this car's last two features here. The trunk does open up. Although this is my one another quip with this car. When you open this it does not want to stay open. It just falls flat. And they don't really have anything to hold it up. So that's my one little thing about this car that I don't like. Alright and then when you open the trunk there's a top in there and the rest of the trunk is not too much it is carpeted but there's not really a whole lot to look in there it's carpeted and it's got a few little things right here those little plastic things and you know it's it's painted somewhat which is pretty nice to see so it has these yellow paint right here they painted the sides with so it's pretty cool and they actually put the defrosters in here which is pretty nice I don't know if you can see that but that's pretty cool one last feature of this car is that the top actually you can remove it and put it back on so if you take this and you line up the this just correctly you have to just do this just right I'm always careful with this stuff. Just make sure it doesn't get messed up. But if you put it on there correctly, the target top is removable. So it's pretty cool. And the nice thing about it is when you put it on, it doesn't look too, too bad. It's a nice seamless piece. You just want to be careful with it. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to the underside of this car. So, like I said, the uh, trunk and the interior, the interior, I give that a uh, 10 out of 10. So, the interior is pretty good. Um, one more thing I want to mention is the mirrors are pretty nice, too. They're actually, the, the uh, plastic in there is a pretty good decal, and it looks real. And so does the rear view mirror. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the underside here. And you'll notice that this is definitely not a Maisto the way that the uh, underside is done because Maisto would never bother to do half of this stuff. Um, you can see the engine pan here. Now, see, the thing is, I'm not sure if this is all a plate underneath the engine or if that's just one complete piece that goes all the way through to the hood. I can't really tell, but 
you know you you won't be able to tell that, that this is if this is a plate you wouldn't be able to tell very much because I can't really see that but it's pretty well detailed underneath here but some of this stuff is raised up and they've got things like the anti roll bars and all that and uh, one other thing I like is that the suspension underneath here is it's it's painted well not painted but it looks like it's an actual spring in there if you look up in inside of here it's, it looks like an actual spring and there's actually like uh, linkages for the uh, axle and everything which is pretty nice so I really like the underside of this car um, there's actual separate exhaust muffling underneath here which is pretty nice to see um, all of it's pretty much there so I really like this car it looks it looks really good and all the um, it's all there pretty much so I give this car all in all maybe a 9.5 out of 10 it's a, it's all in all it's a pretty good model it maybe not some of auto arts best but if you pay 50 bucks for it it's a good model to buy alright so now we're moving on from the street to the track and uh, this is one model that I bought off the internet and it's Dale Earnhardt's car it's a C5 racing C5R and if you have one of these in your hands the first thing you're going to notice is the weight because the chassis is made out of actual metal so this car is pretty heavy and it's it's, it's not a lightweight die cast by any stretch of the imagination it's a pretty heavy piece um, I, I, I want to weigh this to see how much this thing weighs so it, it's a pretty heavy car you look at the exterior this is the race used version so it has all the paint splatters on it which I like to see it says good wrench and three on here good wrench service plus mobile one I'm not going to read all the decals but you can see this is an actual metal bumper right here it's not plastic which that's pretty cool to see and down here you see all the head the headlights these don't have a peg in them um, this is one of Action's older pieces actually um, this um this was done back at around 2000 something so this is a pretty good little piece but there's mesh over there wheels are pretty nice I'm sure I think the brake disc rolls with them so that's pretty cool and they roll pretty well they roll pretty darn good and here's the uh, side ports these are painted they're not see-through but they are painted which is pretty nice and again three and then there's more of this road grime which that's pretty cool so and the interior is pretty nice too and I'll move on to that in a moment and this is the one that was driven by Kelly Collins, Dale Earnhardt and Dale Jr. and Andy Pilgrim so this is one of the American race teams from Corvette Racing so it's pretty cool and there's that number three again this model cost me about sixty dollars off of eBay which wasn't a bad price at all considering how detailed this model is the rear wheels spin pretty good and then really nice part about this is the rear diffuser is also made out of metal so there's really not many plastic parts on this car tail lights are also red and these don't have a peg in them either so that's pretty cool really nice piece very nice piece well made again there's the American flag <clears throat> and a bunch of other sponsors and then there's the side pipes here which that's, a pre that's pretty cool every car looks cooler with side pipes and uh, <clears throat> the rear view mirrors are actual like a almost like a glass kind of thing they look pretty good 
so all in all the exterior I definitely would have to say I give the exterior 10 out of 10 on this vehicle very well done so I'm gonna get on to the uh, engine bay and uh, pretty I gotta say that the engine is pretty well done uh, you can see that there's an all kinds of manner of uh, wiring in here um, this car would have come out at the same year as that Callaway. This is kind of the same year of VET almost. But uh, very well done engine bay. All the wiring is there. If th if they missed anything, I can't tell. I mean, but you can really um, see all like there's brake cooling hoses in here, and there's all kinds of stuff. And this is pretty well done. So it's pretty nice. The only one thing is these brake hoses kind of limit the steering. The steering can only like go but so far, and it's kind of like click, click. That's all the steering that you're going to get out of this car. It doesn't steer very much, but it's still pretty nice. And then there's the headers underneath here, which they look pretty good too. So all in all, the engine bay is a pretty well done piece, and the wiper. I didn't I didn't really point this out but the wiper is pretty cool the way they did that it's a really nice piece okay so done with that now I'm gonna move on to the uh, interior of this car I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it but I'll try and highlight it as much as I can um, it's pretty well done there's a lot of caging in here and there's an actual fabric window nut which if you feel this it's made out of actual fabric so it's pretty cool and the door panels are uh, are painted on here and they're uh, actually molded which is pretty nice so that's pretty cool um, there's all kinds of gauges in here there's a racing seat and there's all kinds of other stuff in this uh, interior so it's all pretty much there um, like I said engine I give a 10 out of 10 uh, interior I definitely say I give the interior a 10 out of 10 my only one quip with this car is the well, I got two prop well two little quips with this car this door stays open okay um, it is on dog leg hinges but again if you close this you won't be able to tell it's a dog leg hinge but I kind of wish they hadn't made it dog leg hinges. But all in all, you know, I, I don't I don't really knock this car for that. But I kind of wish they stayed they stayed shut a little bit better. Because if you kind of hold it, it'll open. But it's not too too bad. Okay, so again, I'm gonna get to the other side of the interior here. Sorry about that. This is a very heavy car. It's not a lightweight at all, trust me. So, this door is a little looser, but it's not bad. Like I said, there's really not much to see. You can't really see it on camera too well, but it is pretty much all painted and it's well detailed. And there's some actual like wiring in here. Like they put actual wires, you know, running to like the uh, instrumentation and the uh, readout panels and stuff. So they did a good job I mean, there's a wire running along the floor and then there's some more wires underneath there so it's a pretty good interior all in all I'd say I give the interior a 10 out of 10 I mean there's nothing there that I can't see that's missing so I haven't looked at the actual car but interior looks pretty good so I give that a 10 out of 10 so I'm going to close that and I'm going to show the trunk, or what, whatever you call the trunk. This is very hard to get open, just so you know. Alright, so there we are. Back here, there's a lot of detail going on. Like I said, I only paid $64 for this car, I think. So, I didn't do too, too bad. Might have been $54, I'm not sure, but... 
you can see that there's a lot of um, detailing here so pretty well done so yeah very nice uh, trunk here then they have like the uh, fillers for the uh, fuel so this is all pretty well done so yep you can see all the detailing in this so it's a, it's a pretty nice um, trunk and all this is definitely not a grocery getter but it looks pretty good back here and it's pretty uh, well represented so there we are there's the uh, trunk and I'll move on to the underside although there's not much to see there but here you go and just so you know this is a metal metal on metal pretty much it's like a big hot wheel almost except it's got way more detail but the base is pretty much metal I was just joking about big old hot wheel but the base is pretty much all metal so yeah very well done and then here's the uh, engine that's painted silver like a silver gunmetal gray color and uh, yeah it's pretty cool all of it's pretty well done and uh, like I said I give this maybe like a 10 out of 10 I mean I can't tell if there's anything missing I don't think there is so oh, there goes the door again like I said those dog leg hinges don't really uh, do too too well keeping these door closed the doors closed sorry I'm kinda tired today guys I'm just sleepy so there is the Corvette C6R C5R driven by Dale Earnhardt Sr. and uh, like I said guys check out my YouTube channel rate comment subscribe you know I'll probably have more reviews coming definitely more videos coming like I said guys check out my channel and everything like I said I hope you enjoyed today's review of the two yellow cars the two my two most uh, awesome vets that I have these are possibly some of the nicer Corvettes that I have in my collection so like I said if you see this video make sure you comment leave a comment down below you know if you like my channel subscribe to it check out my other videos and everything else so I'll see you guys later if it has to do with die casts it has to be the JMA 63 goodbye <laughs>